is Irie. Today we are finally going to talk about the future cloud suits. I do apologize for delaying this for so long. There are just so many suits which speaking of, we should get started right away. The first one is Song of Lotus Gathering, one of the newest suits on the Chinese server and for only $1. The next suit was from the recent Hell event. I did a video of it too, so you probably remember this very round looking mythical beast. He is very cute. And then the two suits next to her are also from the same Hell event. They are the minor suits of that event. And a lot of the players on the Chinese server right now are very much loving the special pose of the girl on the right because it comes with just the coat, so you can pretty much put it on whatever sleeveless things you want. And then the next suit was a stamina event suit. It was 5,250 stamina, but surprisingly it came out to be free because we have 15 days to get it. And on the Chinese server, 15 days is enough to get you the amount of stamina required. And also the window accessory here is very popular, um, very well made, as well as these cute little birds. They are um, pretty useful too. And then the next one is Orchid's Heart, Swordsman Spirit, a minor suit from the 4 Stories Hell event. And <laughs> uh, keeping up is the uh, a recharge suit from the 3rd anniversary. So she came with another ruin suit, which was a robot girl, but she herself has been very popular due to that awesome swing slash tree accessory she has. So you can separate it out and put your Nuki on there and make a lot of funny pictures or graceful pictures depending on what is the mood you're feeling at the moment. So that was the that's the accessory. And here we have an association shock suit. This is a suit that will make you wish you hadn't exchanged all your association coins for dyes because she has an original color and three recolors. So her original was 3,365 association coins and then original plus three color comes out to be 9,512 coins, which is a lot. And then next we have an association war suit. So this was the newest association war suit on the Chinese server. The fourth one? Fifth one. <laughs> and there was pretty much no complaints about her because she is pretty, she is free, she comes with a raft, and there are birds that come with her too. So very popular. And then next up we have a smaller green suit that was part of an event where you had to pick which NPC you liked and want to fight for. So um, the best part about her are actually those willows in the back. And then this suit also came from the same event. So as you can see, they're both green and they both have bamboos. And this more modern looking cloud suit was from chapter 3 of volume 2. So a very far away chapter. And the same for the suit next to her. And I really like the recolors for this suit. They are a lively contrast against the more calm looking original color. And then the suit next to her is Dream of Returning to Autumn, which was a recharge suit that I also featured in my top 10 recharge suits video. And she is still one of my favorites even today because of how much details that went into her as well as how many parts she come with. She also reminds me of a very popular J. Cho song called Chrysanthemum Platform. So, um, yes, many reasons for me to praise her. And a lot of people didn't like her hair. So what they would do is it is just like they would use a lot of the parts from the suit and then just give her a different hair. And then I just want to show once again the artwork associated with the umbrella and the chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums in the back as well as her very pretty makeup. The flowers kind of go very far out and now we have this suit that is unblocked by those flowers. This was a cloud event suit and here is her normal pose and now we can finally see it. The um, most used part for this suit personally is the makeup. I actually spam this makeup maybe way too much. And an interesting story about that event in general was 
a lot of people thought the suits looked a little bit on the plain side when they first came out. Um, they like this boy suit though, so this was from the same event as the previous suit. And um, two of them together was about 2450 diamonds. And then if you just wanted to get either this suit or the one before him, the lady one, it was 990 diamonds. With free tries, of course. And then the suit has all of those accessories and the special pose. And then next up, this is True Lord of Sacred Presence. This was a 2018 Chinese New Year lucky bag suit. So there was a 0.5% chance of his price being $5, even though in reality, it took many players closer to $66 to get him, along with four other suits. Why he was most often the last suit, so hence the $66 price tag, which is again very high. But his price may be different if he comes to the English server because obviously we don't know what the English server is going to do with him yet. And personally, I do use his weapons a lot, like those giant spears you see floating around, as well as his massive slash divine dog in the back. I just think his tail works very well as a dark smoke screen for some reason. And then next up, this is a cat suit. Um, it was a user suit on the Chinese server and it was for about $5. It has this giant cat statue that's supposed to bring you fortune as well as a sleeveless pose for the body and the leg and then the sleeves themselves are the arm poses and then this bow goes on her waist slash back. And then we have Floating Snow Dreams of Floating Lives a minor suit from the Four Wars Hell event, so we had to pull her from the Hell event pavilion. And then same for Clear Spirit Song over here. She actually has uh, two recolors, as you see on the screen right now. And then this was also a minor suit from the same Hell event. And then this has the most stunning recolor differences. Like, this is a recolor. I compare it to the original color really quick. Like, they look very different, right? I mean, the recolor doesn't have a pose, but the colors themselves are pretty drastically changed. And then this was another minor suit from the same Hall event. Again, it has recolors, very elegant looking. And the last minor suit from Four Wars, um, a more, I guess, wild looking suit. She looks very capable. And then we have Verdant Pond Bamboo Shadows that comes with a giant snake. So. This was from kind of a voting event where we vote for like which suit we want an NPC to get. And she was 980 diamonds if you just wanted her. There was also another suit, so if you wanted both this suit and that other one, they come out to be about 1916 diamonds. And her accessories, like the snake and the bamboos in the back are just very useful because like that's an actual pond that you can put into your entries wherever you like. And then next up is my friend Juna's favorite cloud suit, Cold Plum Blossoms Reflected Upon the Snow. So she was also a 2018 Chinese New Year lucky bag suit and that again I talked about her a little bit in my top 10 recharge suits video. So for her there is a 2% chance of her price being $5 if you are very lucky and then worst case scenario you get her as the last suit so you pay $66 and get her plus four additional suits and as you can see on the screen her makeup is so pretty she also looks very strong and determined um, what me and my friend both very much love about her and then she comes with a sword a very graceful dress and then a pretty badass coat too so um, both of our loves and then grain of flowing gold it came to the Chinese server as a user shop suit for about five dollars and then the next one is thousand oceans a recharge suit for about ten dollars and I've seen her hair being used a lot because it's long and graceful and very dark <laughs> and then next up is passing a volume 2 chapter 2 suit Ooh. As a chapter suit, it was free and is a cloud styled monk. So, um, if you are confused, Volume 2, Chapter 2 is 
very very far away we are on volume 1 chapter 15 right now so it will be a while until we get him and then piercing sword of frost was from an event it was about 700 diamonds just for him with the free tries he also came with a companion suit, this white lady over here, thousand opportunities scattered in the snow. So both of them together were 1950 diamonds. And they are actually related to the four gods family heads. So this was related to Ming Shui Yuan, the lady in green whom you've seen in the Joker event. And then the rest of was related to our best girl, Yue Tianshuang. And now we have Soul Sealer of the World, a recharge suit. I'm not sure when we'll get him on our server to be honest because a lot of servers by this point have already gotten him. And it was about 490 diamonds by himself, for, so $7-ish on the Chinese server. And he just looks so confident, like did you see that makeup? And then I really like how his normal pose is broken out into many parts including things like this very well made looking uh, waist item and the next suit is the equivalent of Winter Angel, the first time recharge set so if you just recharge anything above one dollar you get her and we have all of these suits already so we'll scroll past by them until we arrive at Lady Beauty or Li Ji so she was a collaboration suit with a drama series and then we have Mirai Capriccio for chapter 19 and therefore a chapter suit and free <laughs> and then we have golden feathers hair and shadows another chapter 19 suit so it will be a while until we get her but she comes with a ninja cat and you know these double swords as well as a very cool looking makeup and then we can see her normal pose here so this is the normal pose dress slash i guess kimono I don't know the technical term, sorry. And then the special pose over there. And this one we already have, and but this one we don't have. So this is Southern Winds Jade Feathers, the second Association War suit. Again, free because it's Association Wars, and then we just need a lot of time and teamwork together to get her. So her colors are so vibrant, and she comes with two of these peacocks in the cage and a makeup of her own so looking forward to getting them with your association and we also have these so this is the peach the peach blossom theme chapter 18 suit with its recolor and then there is a pose also actually and then next up a very beautiful suit, Secret Kirin of a Thousand Autumns, another lucky bag suit. So again, 0.5% chance of it being $5 and then all the way up to 20% chance of being $66. She is so, so like, I guess formidable looking, but her colors are also kind of soft at the same time as she comes with an animated Kirin and a beautiful, beautiful makeup as well as like antlers on her head and then we have fragrant letter of utter beauty so she is the girlfriend of one of the lucky back suits we had on the english server actually i don't know if you remember the lady who was holding a cat so this is her girlfriend she is a writer and um this is the sister suit of the flower lyric suit we also had as part of the english server anniversary so this is the i guess do we want to call her the older sister? <laughs> um, and obviously this bridge is stunning, you know, complete with the creek and all of those flowers. And next up, this was a cumulative expenditure suit. And then this suit was originally from the Vietnamese server and we got her for $5. And I just spent like half an hour the other day talking with my friends about how gorgeous this coat is like it's pretty translucent and it has that arm pose and then another suit from the Vietnamese server like that color is just so nice and then we have Visage of Dawn chapter 17 so getting closer to where we are right now on the English server chapter 15 versus 17 you know we're gonna get to 17 soon hopefully and then this one was originally a Japanese server suit, but the Chinese server got it as crafting suit directly. 
So, um, a lot of people did have some materials to craft him already, so they didn't have to grind very hard for him. Um, and then this one we obviously already have, this one too. And then the smaller suit is from Lunar Streamweaver, which is a game feature I'll be very excited to talk about. And then Feather Fan is modeled after our best girl, Yue Chen Fang's best friend, the military strategist Zhu Ruosheng. And then Orchid was a suit that you can now purchase in the game store. And keep scrolling past until we get to Wind Listener, an association shop suit for about 2610 association coins. She only has four parts though, but obviously she is very lovely and ethnic looking and I like love her pose, like her harmonica. And then we keep going because um, yeah, over here. <laughs> Miss Bun of Long Street. So legend says that she makes the best buns in the entire mirror land. And she has a store on what's called the Long Street of Cloud. And here we have an apron. And then she comes with this bucket of buns, meat buns. And then all of these suits we already have to. But this one we don't have. This is Phoenix Dance of Creation. She is the suit from a permanent pavilion, Tower of Zen, that we should be getting sometime in the future. So you can either pull her from the pavilion or you can exchange her. And then this is her gorgeous recolor. Like, look at the fiery phoenix in the back. Like, it moves too, and then parts of her dress move. So it looks like she is on fire. And um, so her story, she's actually related to the first queen of cloud and um here is the more i guess detailed look of her makeup and the suit next to her is also from the same pavilion dragon leap of apocalypse so again tower of zen you can pull her or exchange for her parts in the pavilion shop so just so very regal looking and then um she comes with like that actual dragon accessory and then a glowing ground item too. I really like to put that ground item against other dark dresses because like the dress will cover most of it, but then you'll have these glittering lights flowing upwards. And here is her recolor with a more inkier looking dragon. Very cool looking. Um, and then the lighter dresses, but with the same amount of attention to detail put into those fabrics too. So again, pavilion suits, and then these suits we already have. And then this one was a login suit, a cute monkey. And then this one was also a login suit, simple but very pretty. And then the rest we kind of already have, so I skipped a lot of them until we arrive at Fox Fairy Matchmaker. This was actually an anime tie-in suit, and it was free for the entire server. I should probably watch that anime. And last but not least, Obsidian Feathers Flying Suelos. So this was for volume 2 chapter 4, the newest chapter on the Chinese server that literally just came out. So I am still crafting her, but I can't wait to show her off when I am done because she just looks so epic and badass at the same time. So that was all 56 future cloud suits. Thank you so much for watching it all the way to the end. I am so grateful and I do apologize that it took me so long to put out this video. I am also very glad that everyone seemed to really like cloud suits because I think they're amazing and beautiful. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this somewhat useful or interesting, please like and subscribe. I will be so happy and I will see you next time.